the most simple way to program your shoulders. So the first tip for this is they're not a massive muscle group in comparison to the rest of your body. So you don't need loads and loads of volume to elicit change. The second tip is, although they can take a lot of punishments, that doesn't mean that you should be completely neglecting form. Two common injuries that people have in the gym, lower back and rotator cuff. And that's because when it comes to say a press, that they're, they're sort of arching in this position, putting a lot of strain through it, or they're pressing out in this movement and putting a lot of strain through the shoulders. So make sure that when you are doing something like an overhead press, that your core is engaged so that you're not slouching like that and that you, the bar is over the crown of the head and we're squeezing through the upper back to ensure that we're not causing any injuries. The final thing is we've talked about volume, we've talked about injury prevention. When it comes to laying out the program, you want to have primarily across the week, two push movements and two accessory or isolation movements. So two former side raises, whether that be cable dumbbells, and then with your press, you could have one barbell, one dumbbell. Whether you want to put that in a shoulder day, a push day, is completely down to personal preference. But you want to try and get between 12 and 15 sets as a ballpark 